And that's not the job. You may not do that. You can't tell that's right not now. the job that you getting paid for. So I hope you guys. Come on, Come on, come on. Oh my Give me a line. A disruptive passenger is a passenger who fails to respect the rules of conduct on an aircraft, fails to follow instructions, and thereby disturbs the good order on the aircraft. Hi, I'm Orlando and you're watching Wishcasting. We do world travel guides and try to get you traveling for free by joining Emirates, one of the highest paying companies with biggest network in the world. Join our tutorials and travel guides every Wednesday and Sunday at 5 p.m. plus 2 GMT. Today's lesson is sponsored by the Emirates Wannabes Facebook group, getting you in touch with real Emirates flight attendants. It's the only online community made of Emirates cabin crew, ex-Emirates cabin crew, and aspiring cabin crew helping each other. Join now, it's free. Find the links down in the description. A disruptive passenger can be unruly and or unlawful. Unruly if the passenger commits acts against airline rules, compromising the safety of the aircraft, persons, property, or good order on board. A disruptive passenger can be unlawful if he or she commits the same act but not against airline rules, but against the penal laws of the state. Breaching penal laws of the state is punishable by law. Police will be waiting upon arrival for the unlawful passenger, and the case will be brought to court. Unruly behaviors are illegal consumption of narcotics, refusal to comply with safety instructions, verbal and physical confrontation, uncooperative passenger refusing to follow instructions, making threats, sexual abuse or harassment, screaming, annoying behavior. There are four levels of threat disruptive passengers may pose. Level one, verbal disruptive behavior. Level two, physically abusive behavior. Level three, life-threatening behavior. And level four, attempted or actual breach of the cockpit. Emirates follows the following procedure for handling disruptive passengers. The four Ds with the use of the traffic light guide. Final warning, restraint, and police on arrival. This link in the upper right corner is our masterclass series on joining Emirates. It's free, it'll always be free, and it's a gold mine. Trust us, follow it from the beginning to the very end. The 4Ds is an Emirates method adopted for intoxicated passengers who want to drink more only to become more intoxicated. 4Ds stands for delay, dilute, distract, and deny. You use this method for passengers displaying mild intoxication. You firstly delay the passenger's drink request, then you dilute his drink. Only when the passenger shows heavier signs of intoxication, you start distracting him by talking about something random, from other topics. As a last resort, you may deny the drink. This is done by the cabin supervisor, as passengers tendentiously become aggressive at the stage. But you can't give me a f***ing glass of wine, is that correct? You can't give me a wee bottle of wine? F*** off! I'm a f***ing... International Tinder lawyer, think about it. You're a fucking, you fucking stupid cunt. Give me a bottle of wine and game over. Otherwise, the four D's method is used in conjunction with the traffic light guide. Three charts with three different colors to identify the passenger's level of intoxication. If the passenger is shouting foul words and smells like alcohol, he falls within the red chart. You must immediately deny alcohol. If a passenger is over-friendly with red eyes but stands okay, he's probably borderline between the green and yellow chart. You can delay and dilute drinks. The final warning can be issued by any crew member on board. It usually needs approval by your seniors, but in case of obvious necessities, you may issue it yourself, and it goes like this. On behalf of the captain, your behavior is completely unacceptable. If it continues, we may have to take further necessary actions against you. The final warning should be issued if the passenger's behavior is unacceptable and includes abuse of bad words, harassment, physical contact abuse towards crew or other passengers. Once you issue the final warning, go away from the scene. Staying there won't allow the disruptive passenger to think at the consequences he might be facing. If you leave as soon as you issue the final warning, the words you said will have a larger impact and he will stop. 
Your main objective is to successfully stop the passenger from breaching rules without restraining him. Restraints are terrible, psychologically and physically. They're hard to do and a lot of people can get injured. Try scaring him off with your words. Leave and let him think it through. He just might get scared enough to stop. If this doesn't work, you may restrain the passenger with at least two other crew members. Never go alone. One crew member from the front will be the distraction. The other two crew members will plan the attack from behind. And the three, together, will finish the restraint. Emirates cabin crew members receive a restraint training at the Emirates Training College and learn several ways to take down bigger individuals by hitting them on pressure points throughout the body. Emirates also provides a restraining kit on board. This is used to tie wrists and ankles. Crew also use extension seatbelts to further immobilize the disruptive passenger. As a final cherry on the cake, police will be waiting at their arrival gate to take the passenger in custody and face penal disciplinary actions that may not only ban the passenger from flying that airline ever again, but also serve prison time. Depending, of course, on the breaches caused on board. Oh, you're gonna handcuff me and then you're gonna yeah. tell me. Well, you know. Why am I under arrest? What did I do? Under what? Always remember that you are an authority on board. Your objective is to keep everyone safe, including the aircraft and yourself. If anyone tries to compromise such safety, you have the right and obligation to take him down to follow the rules. Now that's it for today's video. We want to thank you for watching till the very end. We thank you for your support and following. It's oxygen for us. We're trying to reach 2000 subscribers and only your help can make the difference. Subscribe, comment, like, and share if you care supporting us. We do travel guides too. Feel free to take a look at our popular low-cost travel guides here. Check our entire free Emirates Masterclass course here. We'd love to know your experience in the comments below. If you have any other questions, just ask and I will reply. As always, it's my pleasure to do videos. Hope you liked it and keep it rolling, guys.